Okay, so now we're going to lay out everything. Uh, this is a very simple process of just taking the UVs right here. Now they're all the same the size they need to be coordinated way, but um, remember I have to get them over to this. Well, what happens if I use the feature now? Uh, it will go and automatically scale it over corresponding to the scale I have now. Okay, so if I go in here to layout, it will ask a few things. Scale mode, uniformed. Yes, I want uniformed. Uniform based upon the scale I have now. Do I ro rotate? No. So no rotation. And then I want to choose something like a 2048 map for this. I'll lay out UVs and things will get bigger on the object. No doubt about it. See how everything's just a little bit bigger. Okay, let's uh, do that one more time. There we go. So now what I need to do is make everything as big as possible on this UV range because layout only gets you halfway. Layout's kind of like, um, I don't know, uh, easy fix just to get them all onto the same area. But it definitely does not do it justice. So first off, take all pieces and scale them as big as you can get them and get as many as you can get them onto the range. So in this case I'm going to scale this down just a little bit and then move it off with the W on the keyboard and scale it just a little bit more. And there we go. So that that took a lot of UVs into consideration. Then I'm going to take this shell and move it just a little bit over this way. Take this shell and move it over just a little bit this way. And try to find a spot for this big guy. He might can go here if I shuffle these around. So the whole thing is like a game of Tetris. You have to kind of move, rotate, scale but don't scale or don't rotate that's a bad thing and the reason for that is uh, let's say if I'm trying to put a label on this thing well I wouldn't want to do that it'd be hard to produce a label in Photoshop for it if it was kind of rotated weird And I said, giant game of Tetris at this point. So you're just moving these around and trying to get all the pieces of the puzzle into this range and have them as big as possible. Then you always get this this guy, the guy that wouldn't fit to save your life, uh, in on it. And that's where I'm going to take everything and just scale it just a little bit down. And I'm going to chop him up. So I'm going to grab the edge here, chop it. Remember, this is an area that I'm not having a texture in, so I'm not really worried about what goes there or how the UV has a seam in that area. Okay, so there we go. We have our UVs. Again, always double check to see if you can have any more space available. It's always very important to utilize all your UV space. And this is now the new layout, which looks a little weird over here. But look at, they're all the same size square. Okay, so this is the same size square. This may not look all that well, but again, that's a material area. Uh, this is a texture area. This texture area and this texture area are the same. And the bottom is the same and the top is the same. 
that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the size of the squares, how they're laid out. All right. Now that we have this done, um, what we're going to do is maybe look at a sample and take a UV snapshot of this. And I'll choose a UV snapshot range of 2048 by 2048. Browse this out. Put this in the UV directory. We'll call it sample period TGA. I want that as a TIFF 0 to 1 range and hit OK. Oh, and you must highlight your object in object mode. So that's an object mode now. All right, in the next video, what we're going to do is kind of look at what we've, we've done, and we're going to compare it to the one we had before. All right? So meet me in the next video.